great moment for um, for the UAE. Um, I would like to thank my leadership, the leadership of the UAE, the MBRC, and NASA for believing in us and for giving us this opportunity. We have astronauts under training now to undergo future missions to the ISS, to the Lunar Service, and to Mars. So I would like to thank everybody who helped, fair and God for this moment. First time. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, Dragon, copy, go for launch. Minus 30 seconds. I think it's a, a natural uh, progression uh, when we talk about the UAE uh, space program. Our first mission was in 2019 with my colleague Hazan Mansouri. My mission was uh, a longer one uh, with more potential, so it was six months. It's a long time to uh, be focused and be uh, uh, vigilant and do everything uh, the, the right way. So I, I enjoyed every part of it and I think it was incredible. Dragon, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power and lift off. A through six. Go Dragon. Go Falcon. Number six. Now launching on a Decker's first flight to the International Space Station. Vehicles pitching down range. 1.7 million pounds of thrust provided by the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Hearing good calls. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Many people don't realize that um, it's only uh, like nine minutes to be in outer space and, and going into the microgravity environment. So it was uh, a dynamic ride, but I enjoyed every part of it. When the engines finally cut off and you've reached orbit and you're floating in your straps, that is an amazing experience. That just feels like, wow, what just happened? Uh, <laughs> The first thing what I thought, it was, uh, this is a big hand, they stopped you. Smooth and power. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I think. <laughs> Dragon, SpaceX, on the big loop. Docking sequence complete. Crew Dragon Endeavor, Steve, Woody, Sultan, Andre, welcome to the International Space Station. Collectively as a crew, we managed to do a lot. We've done a lot of science and outreach, maintenance. It's really a very much an operational laboratory with a lot of great research going on. Uh, previously, while we were building it, we were doing experiments at the same time, but the intensity of the science has uh, really ramped way up. Ну, первое на слово. У всех как бы три основных эти задачи во время длительных экспедиций это проведение научных, ну, программы научных экспериментов, это обслуживание станции, то есть э, какие-то выполнения операций до оснащения в том числе. Ну и вот основным этим мы и занимались. He actually kept us entertained with his uh, guitar and music. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. was, was, you know, we, part of that question was, uh, you know, getting along with the rest of the crew. It was actually fantastic. And uh, Andre, thank you again for, for the music. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's the artist among us. Yes, he uh, was. And when, when, you, when you start getting into the real deal of doing science and handling a lot of storage, it, it will get really, really tricky. So we do miss gravity when, when we work. 
uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, talking about the best or worst thing about um, microgravity, I think the best thing is uh, fulfilling the, the childhood dream, floating, playing uh, a Superman or whatever <laughs> character you're in your mind. But yeah, overall, I think it was a, a learning progress, uh, a progressed uh, uh, process towards uh, uh, mastering floating in space. That first look when somebody first comes outside is just amazing. It's really exciting to see. And then it was it was actually a great pleasure to go out with uh, <coughs> Sultan on that EVA. It was my first EVA in over a decade, so uh, it was exciting for me as well. Uh, but just getting outside, seeing him outside, you know, we got all the work done that we could. And uh, I've tried a few things, and Sultan got to use some tools I never had. He had a hammer at one point. I never had a chance to use a hammer before, so I'm a little jealous. It's, it's an amazing, very intense experience. You focus a lot on it. They torqued out at uh, 4.64 turns. And we copy, Steve. And good word, Sultan. A rare day when you get to use the EDA hammer. It was, we got to cut something, and now we're going to use a hammer. And nice work, Sultan. Uh, and we can head to the uh, up the Cedar Spur when you're ready. Uh, nice work. I want to take a moment to congratulate you on the successful spacewalk. Steve, congratulations on your eighth EVA and your first in 12 years. Sultan, you've now entered an exclusive club of humans who have stepped out into the void of space. And in doing so, you've marked a milestone for the United Arab Emirates. Thank you. Um, it was seven hours and uh, it was really, really incredible. Uh, just uh, the amount of um, emotions initially when we got out of the airlock was uh, was really, really uh, surreal. I mean, going out with uh, a veteran like uh, Steve Bowen, it was it was amazing. And uh, as a, a rookie astronaut going outside, I think it meant everything. And I always say, say that was the crown jewel of the mission. <laughs> well, it is an international space station. It's been an international space station since its very existence in the uh, 1990s. Uh, it's. It's been a sort of a pinnacle of cooperation uh, among many, many nations. And uh, it's always great to get new nations on board, which is really exciting. Uh, and once you get there, I mean, it's one ship, one crew. We're all there together. We, we cooperate uh, because we have to operate. And it's, a, it's an incredible uh, achievement. And we do get along and the operations uh, continue. And it's, it's really, a great model and a great example of uh, what we can do when we all work together. We talk about going back to the moon and, and, and uh, going further into space to, to Mars as well. So I think the UAE is uh, planning to do so. They just joined the international efforts to be a, a key player in, in, in going back to the moon and, and reaching Mars as well. What we learned on the moon and how we survived there obviously helps us understand how to live better here on Earth and be uh, uh, take care of our planet and resources even better. Well, I think as any other person, who is more or less, so to say, really thinks, I would like to get first to the moon, to the moon, to the moon. But on Mars, I think it's a distant perspective. But on Mars, it's a possible 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 perspective. I would love to see you play and get out of Mars. <laughs> you Mars. could be there with him. <laughs> yeah, let's start with Moon. Go together. Go together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Welcome to the Space Games, and today we're playing uh, Space Dart, starting uh, with Andre and Steve. Whoa! <laughs> 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 La chance finale. <laughs> 